This is a film about helping people manage their money. It will show you how financial education can be provided using a free, step-by-step -step counselor's handbook designed to be accessible to everyone. With an estimated 150 million new consumers entering the financial services market each year, there has never been a more important time to promote financial education. This handbook includes straightforward, impartial information on topics such as budgeting, saving, and debt management. Thousands of consumers in East Africa have already benefited from the financial counseling it can provide. Michael has been responsible for implementing one of the project's pilot schemes in Kenya. And as he has discovered, you don't have to be a financial expert to use the handbook. The best thing about the financial education handbook is that it's so simple. It's very easy to understand, very easy to follow. If you want to use it out in the field, for example, for financial education clinics, all you have to do is just to read through it, make copies of the relevant pages, and you're ready to go. Building on what they already know, the handbook explains how to empower consumers through a framework of practical exercises and worksheets that bring the topics to life and ensure they are relevant to people's daily lives. The handbook has been developed by financial experts for Consumers International and is part of a wider effort to improve financial literacy. Sharon is one of the handbook's authors. This handbook actually addresses bigger part of the problem by relaying information to, to, to the consumers. They now get to understand that they can ask questions. If a consumer gets these counseling sessions, they get the information, then it will be easier for them to get the financial service or the financial product that they really need as opposed to just taking a loan out of peer pressure because this happens a lot in this community. Michael and his colleagues Celine and Vincent have been some of the first people to use the handbook with consumers in Nairobi, Kenya. This book is literally for everyone. To run a financial education clinic, you actually don't need much. All you need is a printer or a photocopier where you can be able to make copies or prints of the relevant pages that can be given out to some of the clients. Public promotion is a major part of providing financial education services. Hello, hello. My name is Michael. I'm from Youth Education Network. Leo am from Coach FM. One of the ways Michael, Millsent, and Celine have been raising awareness of the counseling is by making regular appearances on a local radio station. So what we've done, we've had uh, a promotional kind of session. In addition to that, I've also talked about the free financial education clinics that we're going to have this afternoon and have invited everybody to come at about 2 o'clock. So we're hoping for a very good turnout. Michael, Millsent and Celine have come to Korogosha, one of Nairobi's poorest areas. The way we set up the clinics is that we use the, the, the community hall. We set up um, different points, like on different corners, because the financial counselling is supposed to be confidential. We don't want uh, where by sitting at point A to listen to what is being said at point B. It is like a public education, but also we deal on one-on-one. -on -one. Many banks, they charge you before you get counselling, and even it is the group advice it is not one-on-one -on -one. so most of them they were very happy to establish that relationship in african culture nobody likes to expose the debts they have people get to open up and to tell you really what they feel about their finances the sessions are arranged on different modules once a consumer has a query you just go to that module then within each module there are the various sessions then there is some sort of assignment, which we go through with them. We first of all show them how it's done. Then we give them a similar assignment to take home so that they are able to do it and bring it back. There is a, a way of getting out of the, of the debts. You get that information uh, through the counseling. The information is in the handbook. If consumers get access to this information, 
they get to have the knowledge to deal with their financial issues. So they don't get into tricky situations in, in their financial life. A lot of people are benefiting are finding these things very valuable because some of the people that came back again had already opened up bank accounts and are now even thinking about getting loans in January come next year. So that's, that's something that is really um, a sign of an impact of what we're doing in Korogocho and in this project. We are tackling the core problem of the consumer. When they decide on what to buy and what not to buy, when they decide on how to invest their money, how to save their money, and it starts with the money because the spending power is actually the way the consumers can make choices. It's the way that consumers can vote. It's the way that consumers can influence policies and influence changes. So unless you tell them and you empower them on how to use their money and to use it wisely and to make money decisions, then we will not be able to get the kind of changes that we want. The handbook has also been designed as an outreach tool. And today, Celine, Millicent, and some volunteers from the area have come to visit a women's group to talk to them about financial education. When we come to do these sessions, we have an approach of listening rather than coming with an agenda of our own. They tell us the questions they have. It is them actually leading the discussions. It is important to come to the community uh, with the financial education because when they are here, we come to them, they are more comfortable. They are able to open up and they talk in their own zone. Ya kwanza, naweza kabla ni chukwe loan, ni kona haki na sina uoga. Ime nitoa uoga kwa goloho, na ime, pia ime nisaidia kunipatia huru interest ni gani nitatumia na choice. Na kuitisa kalatazi ya balo, nitaenda kukaa chini na familia yangu, ili ni hakikisha hii loan itakuwa ya manfaa kwangu ama siya manfaa. Hizi, katika hizi uduma zaitu za fedha, zile kitu sita, sita kuja kunyanyaswa ni kama vile wanakujaga wana shota mali zangu kama hiyo interest kubwa sitakuwa napatia familia yangu msiko kubwa ya kulipa hmm. Evidence has shown from the evaluation of the project that the counseling is having a positive impact on those who are receiving it. Against a baseline survey within the community, interviews with the people who have received counseling show a 39% rise in those who say they are saving, a 126% rise in the number of people sticking to budgets, and a 50% fall in those who say they sometimes skip loan repayments. And the benefits of the project don't stop there. Perhaps the most enduring aspect of the pilot scheme has been the training of volunteer financial counselors who will remain in the community along with all the knowledge they have gained. You know, when we started this project, I never had the skill to talk to people, the college, but when the CIN came, we started offering people counseling with financial education. So I have helped many people to overcome their financial problem. Even if the project is gonna end, I'm going to still go inside the community, educate people, tell them more about saving, budgeting, debt management and consumer protection. The Financial Education Counseling Handbook is free. You can download it and find more information about how to get involved by visiting consumersinternational.org slash FE. Many people are scared about financial education. If we tell people that we are actually going to teach you, we are going to inform you, and that we are reaching out to you. Once they start coming to our sessions, they actually realize, oh, this is, this is fantastic. Even though they are low income earners, they've been able to, to see that they also matter, and with whatever money they have, they have rights and they have responsibilities. And it feels good when you actually can give somebody advice that they can go back and, and actually put it to practice and come back and say that this actually worked out for me. 
this project it is having a positive impact to them. It is really satisfying when people come and appreciate and say this is really a gift, a wonderful gift for us.